All right, something I learned as I was going through and building the show file uh, was in the routing. There's something kind of unique with our routing. Um, again, we've got 24 auxes. We're using the eight effects auxes, but we're not using all 16 of the monitoring auxes. So we're actually utilizing um, uh, monitor 16 to do something kind of unique. So if you look across, you'll see a monitor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 all the way over to effects returns. And this, this unit is routed into matrix one and matrix three, which are the mains and the stream. Well, I don't need effects returns in the subs, so that's why they're not in matrix two, um, if and when I'm using subs. But you can see it's up and on, and it's important that this guy is left at unity. And actually, if it gets bumped down, um, here's a quick little Easter egg for you. Use your Alt key and press it, and it returns something to Unity. You can quickly move faders to Unity by pressing your Alt key and clicking on the fader, or a knob, it'll bring it to the home position, whatever it is, kind of a cool little Easter egg there. So that one's free. Um, but the effects returns, keep that at Unity, because then it allows all your levels to come out. And the reason we're doing this, so we're busting our effects units into another aux, which seems a little strange and goofy. Here's why. In our matrices, we have um, kind of a finite number of um, a finite number of inputs, right? You can have twelve inputs to a matrix. So we use the six groups, and then maybe you add two groups later. And then maybe you want to have uh, pastures bike in here to double something. Maybe in your stream, you need to like double it again or something. Just make sure that stays in time. You don't have some kind of like home filter in your latency issue going on. Um, but by putting all of the house effects returns into one channel, one processing bus, one aux, I was able to bring that aux in to the matrix here and kind of attenuate it differently between my mains and my stream. Now, it's not different in this case, but if I felt like they were too rich on the stream, I could pull that fader down and that would bring all of them down together instead of me having to go down and figure out the relationship of all four of those that are going to the house and subsequently the stream and navigate those all together. So it's basically kind of me putting all of the effects units into a group, but what you'd see if you watch the video from Waves on how you can actually route things out of the console, and it should be linked in this video uh, down in the comments, uh, you can't route an, an aux to a group. You can route an aux to an aux. So where I would have put all of our FX into a group and kept it really similar to how we did all the inputs down into groups, you actually can't do that. It's a limitation on the console. So we went aux to aux, and then that aux comes into the matrix. So I just wanted to talk for a minute about that. That's all this one is. Um, it's just kind of a peculiar routing thing that is unique to LV1, kind of its behavior of how it's structured in the back end of why we had to do that. So keep that fader up at Unity, and you'll be in good shape.